I hear beautiful coffee. Mm-hmm. I need to get the cream in her. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. it says, hey, Don, we're getting your followers. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rope them in. <laughs> <laughs> I like fishing in there. Hi, Deanna. <laughs> Hi, Stacy. Oh, I need the patience of Jesus. I, I need the patience of Jesus, too, I man. To make my stomach hurt. So, I want to apologize to my audience again. <laughs> um... over people being harassing towards you and being like, oh my god, look at Shani, panic and hate her. Blah. And, um... You know, if I was if I was talking to kind people, uh, they would, they would give me a, a break. I'm, I'm going through a lot of medical issues right now. Um, I, I'm on so many different medications that my brain feels like it's going dizzy all the time. Um, I'm, I still, I took, I've only taken four or two, I mean, two doses of my vitamin D and I won't be able to feel it until the four to six weeks. So I feel gutted, exhausted, in pain. I I, I never would have thought being a milk lover in a cheese attic that I would have such a problem. Um, but I guess it explains the eroding of my teeth. And... Um, why I've been hurting so much. Um, I look good. Uh, no, I don't. But thank you for the compliment. I don't, I don't feel good at all. And I just wish people would just <sighs> forgive me of whatever I did to piss them off where they're just pissy toward me <clears throat> for just being a imperfect human. Um, there's some things I've done in my life. Uh, a lot was done because of mental illness. <clears throat> um, I've gotten therapy um, I've tried to heal from a lot of the things that's happened. Um, I just try to move on with my life and it's very hard to move on with your life when you, you have people who just constantly wants to keep you in the past and um, continually talking about things that are traumatic or abrasive or personal. Um, I, I'm at a point in my life where I feel so physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally burnt out that I could care less what someone is saying about me. I just, I don't, I don't care anymore. Uh, there's a lot more important things for me to focus on in life than that. I know these people, they, they, they want attention. They, they thrive on attention. They thrive on pissing me off so they can pick a part of video for like five, ten, 
freaking days and analyze it to the point where I'm turned into this evil, horrible being that wants to suck the blood out of everyone or something like that. Right. <laughs> I'm exhausted. And, um... You know, what's really sad is a lot of these people, they say they're believers in Jesus Christ, but Jesus was specific in forgiving others. He, he, he said, if you don't forgive others, the Father will not forgive you. And that's a very important warning to have is like, if you want to be holy and separated with God, you really have to learn how to forgive others and move on from their past misdeeds or whatever you want to do. You, you have to move on. You know, I, I mean, I, I, I've i tried to do everything to get you guys off my back. I've yelled at you, screamed at you, cried, whined, ignored To me, it just seems like you really need a lot of healing inside. You're using me as some kind of punching bag for some kind of extreme emotion that you're dealing with in your life. I really don't care what you're dealing with with your life because I'm a hyper empath. So usually I take on the emotions of others and I hate that because it's like it's it's like. It's like a dual, like, secret weapon, but yet a curse at the same time of being a hyper empath. Because you can go into a room and know how everyone's feeling about you, how everyone's feeling at the moment. Uh, you, you can see it just like that. Uh, you're very, people like me are very emotionally, highly intelligent, okay? Um we know emotions like just anything, you know, it just, it, it comes naturally to people like me and my personality, which is borderline personality disorder. Um, but I've done a lot of work in therapy of, of, of healing and learning how to forgive others, even though they, they won't forgive you back or, or, you know, be peaceful with you. Uh, and I've done a lot of soul searching and, and looking at the law of attraction and spirit science and sound residence and, and, and sound frequencies. And, and I know in my heart of hearts that in order to move mountains and in order to change my perception with reality, I have to think positively and stay positively so I can change to be in the negative dimension per se to a positive dimension where I'm flourishing and I'm feeling good. You know, I, I don't want to be down in the dumps for my whole life. And I know there's people who feel like I somehow deserve to feel like I should be punished for the rest of my life, but no one deserves to be punished for the rest of their lives, especially when they, they've learned and grown and, and overcome said scenario that the other person didn't like. You too high for this? Am I breaking your subconscious, man? I, 
I just want to be true to myself. And I have quit being a people pleaser. If you don't like me, you can just walk away. That's what good solid mentally healthy people do when they don't like someone is they walk away from them and then they just god bless you and let them live their own fucking life okay mentally ill people continue over and over and over again to attack someone you're still not over things that you should be over with because none of this stuff happened to you it happened to me. It was my life that it happened to. Why are you mad at what happens in my life? Personally, why are you mad at me for that? I I did absolutely nothing to anyone and I and I I choose not to do anything to anyone. I choose to try to stay peaceful. I choose to stay silent. And then I choose to speak up when I feel the time has come. And obviously the time has come today to speak up to people who just wanna tear me down again because they need to relive this scenario over and over and over again, like a broken record. <sighs> Holy shit. I don't think like that. I try to like forgive people and move on with my life. I forgive every single one who's talking trash about me right now. I forgive you. You know why? Because forgiveness feels good. Forgiveness is good. Forgiveness is clean. Forgiveness is love. Forgiveness helps your soul heal. And I don't care if you're talking shit about me or trying to intimidate me or trying to make me feel like I'm lesser than the person I am. I don't care. If I'm such a horrible person, why are you giving me all this attention all the time? Why? Now I hear a lot of people speak and, and and they say people hate you because your light is so strong that you show a light onto the people's darkness and they hate you for it because they are ashamed of their own darkness within their souls. I'm sorry I shine a light onto your darkness and you hate me for it. I am the type of believer in Christ where I must tell you to expunge that darkness, get rid of that darkness. Don't keep it in you. Stop hurting others purposely. There's got to be a point where it ends. And I want it to end. It's got to end sometime. You're, you guys are so miserable looking at me in every little inch, trying to see some kind of dirt that you can expose. And most of it is petty.
it's time to move on. <sighs> That's true. Haters are gonna hate. And and I I just I don't want to engage that type of mentality because I don't have that mentality. You know, like nah. We all can be our higher selves. I truly believe that. That everyone can be their higher selves. Like um, there's this video and there was a man in a car and he either had a heart attack or a seizure. I'm not sure, but he, 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 he was, he obviously lost conscience and a woman saw it, ran out of a car, tried to get into the car, but the car was locked and it was moving forward into traffic. She was acting like a, um, a traffic zone guard while this car was moving into uncommon traffic and then more people realized what was happening and they joined in and with their joint effort they were able to stop the car by just holding it back and and they broke the window of the passenger side and they were able to save this man's life that's that's the highest of humanity to help people, to love people, regardless of their sins. I believe in humanism in a lot of ways. I believe humans have the ability to be the best they can, be the best humans, and to go into that low realm where you're beating others up just to beat them up, just so you can get some thrill. Um, I know helping people and loving people is a lot more thrilling and um, enjoyable than tearing someone down. There's got to be some kind of human element deep within your soul where you could pull it out and, and, and realize, would I like being treated the way I treat this person? Apparently, Jason followed someone that he shouldn't have followed on Live Me. Have you heard that, Jason? I have not used Live Me once. I haven't followed anyone. Well, they say you're following someone, and I need to look. Go ahead. <laughs> I haven't used that app once. They, they want to fight. Yeah. Um, I really don't care either way, but um No, my hand before God, I'll answer you right now, truthfully. If anyone's followed on there, that I don't know how they got followed because I literally opened that app once. I know you did. So that's that. Yeah, whatever. Nothing else I could say about that. <clears throat> if you want answers, I'll give you answers. No, I don't think you understand correctly of what type of person I am. I don't want answers. Okay? 
I live my life and then the answers is presented before me. See, I don't need someone to tell me how to think, how to feel, what to look at. I love you too, Haley. I mean, do you, do you, do you want me mad at him? Oh, I don't use it. You t look, there's one functional device mm -hmm. for everything that we do online. I don't use the phone. Mm -hmm. She knows that. So. I opened that app once to see what it was like, and I saw mostly cam girls. I may have accidentally hit follow on someone. That's true. But I literally looked through it for a second. I know. <laughs> yeah. She sees everything, guys. Uh -huh. I don't want to hide anything from you, but if I wanted to, I couldn't. There's that too. Yeah. You know everything I'm doing online. Same. Yep. So. And it's not much, folks. No. No. It's not much. Not anymore. Um, because I like my life lived in private I like my privacy I'd love to be doing a podcast for me that's, you should do one that's what you. I would like to do well I need a computer of my own dude I need a mic and a computer and I'll do it I do it every day you started this live about asking why everyone cares you know me no I don't Okay. But okay. What's up, Donnie? <laughs> Donnie <laughs> says I have an extra laptop. Dude, you're the man. Mm-hmm. Oh. Dude, I will give you I I will hook you up with my address in a second if you wanted to help me out. Because I do need that. And I just want to get a cheap mic that you can get a really good mic cheap these days. You do know me. You just don't know this name. Okay. Who cares? <laughs> Gary. No. We don't care. We've evolved past most of this stupid fucking garbage. Whatever this is. It's all a game. Dude. I do know my lung or no care more. <laughs> it's not like Biden. I no longer care about that. It's stupid. It's always been stupid, and it was just to distract me from ministry. So. Same. That's it. I just, I don't care. You can do whatever you want. Like, I have fully experienced ego death. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel that way too. And I have become a person who does not give a shit. Because <clears throat> it's like, I'm ill. I don't feel good. I'm miserably in pain. Uh... You know, someone said something, something about you. Should I fucking care? I'm in pain. I feel miserable. Why should I care about that? Why should that linger in my brain while I'm sitting here suffering? Guess what? It doesn't invade my brain unless I open Instagram and then I get a million fucking comments of people talking about that shit. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, 
I don't know how, how many times we have to continually, you know, let people know that we don't care about that stuff. Yeah. It's dumb at this point. It's really dumb. It's so dumb. You could do so much better with your platforms and your channels and your life. But you could do a positive things for humanity using that. But instead, it's like, let's laugh at mentally disabled people. Mm. Woo. Yeah, you think it's awesome. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's so petty and stupid. Yeah, energy. And it's the lowest part of humanity. They are energy vampires, that's true. Oh. I pray to Jesus that they grow the fuck up. Mm. I I pray to Jesus that they grow up and realize the error of their ways. Mm -hmm. I'm too old for this shit. I'm 40 years old. I'm looking forward to seeing my sons graduate high school and then college. Mm -hmm. I don't care what your opinion about me is. Uh, go away, weirdo. I'm not a grifter. Mm. Mm. If anything, I'm a digital street performer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't like it? I don't care. Go fuck yourself. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. I'm trying... God, I hate this fucking phone. It's horrible. It really is. I want an iPhone SE. Apparently, you can get them really cheap. Like 80 bucks or something. <laughs> Not the digital street performer. <laughs> well, I was. And that was stripped before me. Yep. But I am a professional rambler. I want to be karaoke in now. You want to karaoke? Yeah. Why? Because it's fun. <sighs> it's fun. If only I had the energy, dear. I hope. In four to six weeks, I'm actually going to start feeling this vitamin D kicking in. And I'll start having fucking energy. You know how a vitamin D deficiency feels? It's like... It's like you're diabetic in a way. I don't know how to explain it. It's like... You know that feeling when you're diabetic? Because I was gestational diabetes. So I know that feeling, right? It's kind of like that, except like not the same type of nausea. Um, kind of feel it in this area a lot. Um, I figure because it affects the parathyroid and that's what I'm feeling. Mm. Because I'm really trying to get in tuned with my physical feelings and responses to know exactly what's going on with my body. So, like, if my blood sugar's low, I know how that feeling is, right? Vitamin D deficiency, I have to learn how that feeling is because it's something I'm probably going to have to deal with my whole life. Um... 
so. Parathyroid. Yeah. What's that mean? Parathyroid. I should know that. Okay. I'm Your stupid. thyroid's right here, right? It's right in the middle, right? Yeah. And 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 then there's the parathyroid. It looks like a. It looks like a butterfly almost okay and it's these glands that are connected to the thyroid and and they have other functions than the typical thyroid okay does that make any sense yes it's another part of that system yes okay thank you go outside and touch sun mm. <laughs> Do you not see me lying in front of the freaking window? Uh, uh. It would be nice. Some direct sunlight go to the park. That would be good. I would love to. Mm -hmm. If you had energy. You don't. No. No energy. I feel lethargic as shit, man. Like I could fall asleep any 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 time. I know that. You've seen it though. Yes. Like I'm just constantly nodding off through the day. Yes. That's why I went to the doctor and I was like, there is something really wrong with me. Yes, and you finally got your blood work and they finally said, Holy shit. There's you're... two more diagnoses that I need to call the doctor about. Oh my god, that sounds great. I know. Yeah, that sounds really great. I know. I gotta make your imaging appointment, too. Yeah. For your mammogram. Uh, yeah. You gotta check that again. You're way overdue to check that. I know. Can you believe that's almost two years ago? The lump is awful looking now. It's big and hard. And gross. And it seeps. It does. It seeps. And, and it hurts you. And it scales over. Yeah, it hurts. And it hurts. On top of it. It's gross. Horrible. Yeah. It's gross. You know, but I'm I'm saying this and you're still picking on me over my life. Like you ever thought giving a motherfucker a break? Yeah, that's the thing. Get man. off your fucking high horse. They want to bring you down so bad and everything. They, they, if they, if you guys understood the level of already that that's been done to her, you wouldn't even bother because you you'd say to yourself, "Well, motherfucker." This woman has been literally eviscerated from the beginning of her life. She's just going to keep going, obviously. She's been through so much that there's no way I could inflict an enough amount of pain and torture on her to make her give up. So just let her be. Let me live my life. However long you got. Yeah, however long I got. Because it's in pain every day, guys. I mean. I mean, I got the physical pain. Doesn't that give you enjoyment? You're like Job. I mean, doesn't that give you enjoyment? Knowing that I'm in physical pain all the time? Yeah, it would. What is, doesn't that tickle you? Especially sadists. <laughs> yeah. Like, why do you want to incur emotional pain onto me as well? Yeah, it's crazy, Donnie. It's like, holy shit. I mean, these people dogpiled someone for 12 fucking years straight, just trying them to break them uh, to, to self-terminate. I mean, that's what you're dealing with. They're Satan. They're satanic. They're Satanists. And I'm not going to do it. No. God won't let you. No. I ain't doing it. Okay. But the psychotic stalking and and just trying to harass everyone who talks to me. Mm -hmm. It's got to stop. That's what they. That's their tactic. That's abusive to isolate people. 
Yeah, to the point that you can't even. Talk. You want to complain and say I'm abusive when you're doing abusive tactics? You're a fucking hypocrite. I'm not doing anything abusive. No. I want peace in my life. I want joy in my life. I want to laugh. I yeah. want to see pretty things. You know, I I I want to see my sons become awesome men that I know they're going to be, man. I I want to see them become that. Mhm. Mm you know, and they're getting there to be awesome men. And mm -hmm. I'm so proud of them. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of my children. Mm -hmm. um, and they're not little kids. They're, they're going to be graduating from high school and going to college soon enough. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I even got grays in my hair now. I'm old. Yeah, Donnie, I think mental torture is worse than physical in most cases. Like, you remember when you got on to G-Man over harassing Jade? Mm -hmm. Why are you harassing me worse than Jade did? You complained about Jade. Oh, he's so awful for doing that, but yet you do it to me. When I have no association with that stupid fuck. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Donnie. Mm -hmm. Um. When is it gonna end? When are you gonna grow from this? When are you gonna learn from this? When are you, when are you gonna realize what you're doing is detrimental toward everyone involved, and you're emotionally abusing your audience and manipulating them to hate someone and cause them to do things that are either illegal or borderline illegal. Hmm. You should not have that much hmm. allegiance. You do not deserve it. Hmm. You're just a fucking idiot like me on the internet speaking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you think of yourself so high and fucking mighty. Mm -hmm. You're fucking dust. Yeah, you're dust. You're dust. You ain't God. You're dust. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. One day you're going to die and become ash and help a tree grow. Mm. You're going to be worm food. Biological material. That's how you want to live your life is harassing a woman that doesn't want to hurt anyone. No. <laughs> the opposite. You want to be charitable and help people. That's the really who you are like yeah when we had it that's what we did was... i enjoyed counseling people i enjoyed yeah. helping people and mm -hmm. and seeing what someone needed and mm -hmm. and being able to provide what they needed mm -hmm. i was a caregiver for years Not an evil person. I'm really not. Mm -mm. What I am is an exhausted person. Exhausted at life. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd rather speak these words that I'm speaking now of peace. And then hating on you guys. Mm -hmm. I'd rather forgive you guys and move on with my life. Mm -hmm. so I'd rather I'd rather go to my calling and 
know that love is the greatest of all powers. Because love can end wars. Love can make enemies friends. Yeah. And nobody has to die. Nobody has to suffer when it comes to love. Do mm -hmm. you really want to be that person that causes more suffering in this world, knowing that this world has enough suffering? Mm -hmm. I know I don't want to be that person. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do my best mm -hmm. to hold my tongue and, and just embrace love. I'd rather embrace love. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I don't have much longer left in this world. I'd rather preach love. I'd rather preach forgiveness and acceptance. Because that hate stuff, that's... I'm beyond that now. Like I've I've passed that learning curve in my life. You know what I mean? The hate learning curve where you've received so much hate and you've given so much hate where you've learned to yourself that it's the most stupidest pettiest shit you can do <laughs> is engaging in anger and and fighting and hurting another person. Mhm. Mm and it never solves anything. Never. You have anything else you, you want to say? Mm. I'll turn this over to Jason. He can end it. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm not sure if there's anything really meaningful that I have to say. Uh... I'll think about it. Give me a second. Um, the problem is, I think, with this whole situation of people that are like the people that are on YouTube, I really do believe that this has been put on them just as much as it as it was put on me and Shani. What do I mean by that? What I mean by that is that you had the top uh, people at Facebook, including Mark Zuckerberg, that informed the public that the main purpose of Facebook was to manipulate the minds of vulnerable college girls to open their legs. Now, with that understanding, how's Shani's health? She looks like she's having dental problems. I'm worried. I am too, Tino. We're going to figure that out. Uh, we got to get her to a, a good dentist and they, because it does affect her health, but chewing meat. She needs uh, protein and, 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 and she can't chew steak for shit. Yeah, the vitamin so, D deficiency killed my teeth. You holding? I'm, I'm doing my best asses dragging. My ass is dragging. For sure. They, they keep it in their head. What? Uh, okay. I got discombobulated there. Okay. I, I apologize. Th look. I got a lot on my mind lately. Okay. that uh, Things that I have to, I know I have to do and I have to really pursue. Yeah. Happy Friday, Johnny. I'll be the dude, you be Donnie, all right, Donnie? But nobody's ever going to tell you to shut up or anything, you know? Because I know Donnie has good ideas. So anyway, uh, okay. You have the understanding now that the top 
the top creators of this whole idea of social media, which really social media proper, how we understand it today, would be, look, this is a, this is an app. This is a, a, a internet based application where you can connect with friends and family, um, which now includes marketplaces where you can buy and sell things. It's become a digital metropolis. You could call Facebook. You could go then to an entirely different environment, which would be X, okay, which is formerly Twitter, that you have a, a, tons of people, lots of bots too, that's bullshit, but they're trying to, they have their own version of that. But you have the top one, which was Facebook. It started what you would call social media in this way, how you understand it today. The top head guys has told you what the intention was. It was to emotionally and mentally mess with young girls. Entirely with getting them vulnerable. These are, this is incels. I mean, Mark Zuckerberg, you'd call an incel before he was a huge multi-billionaire from Facebook. He's just some kid. Just like anybody. So... These trolls are really mean, <clears throat> spirited, and lie in this stuff. Yeah, but I do feel bad for them at the end of the day because they're victims just like all of us. Are victims of this mass mind control uh, tweaking of mankind's shit that they feel is acceptable. And another part of this going back before social media would be the introduction of violence into pornography. That's another one of those turning points in terms of cultural, what do we say is okay? And, and now there's, well, we're not going to kink shame if you like being choked. Back in the old days, they'd say, look, that's really, that's like, okay, I know you like aggression. Fine. Fine. Aggressive sex is great, but why that? Why do you want that? That doesn't make any sense. No, it's been put there by perverted males that like violence mixed with their sex, which is not normal. You shouldn't want it violent, okay? Like, I I would have these talks on Revelation News now. Like, I would do these talks of, like, like healthy sex talk shit. Do you get what I'm saying? Because I think that's very important for a, a good Christian mind, uh, man, I'm a male, I'm a male, uh, you should have that talk with with your folks. With, that should be something that's not taboo to talk about in church, is male sexuality. Like if you just do it within the male group in your church, that I think that should be a thing, you know. Um, is Shani's SD coming along? You should play all sorts. No, it's over. Mine is done, man. They said go work here. Fine. Uh, we're, we're, I, I don't want to talk about that, actually. Thanks. Personal. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that. Uh, how it was. Yeah, yeah, Donnie. Did you man deliver? Bad? <laughs> no, he didn't. Nope. And at this point, I kind of said screw that of getting the property back. I asked him once. And, and then he threatened to come and take pictures of our house. Uh, so I called the cops on him, and he's not allowed here at all now. If he shows up here anywhere near the street, he's going to get what you would call trespassed or whatever immediately. It's pretty easy to see that he's stalking us to what he says on his stupid videos. Yeah. It's like, dude, just grow the fuck up. Yeah. Why can't he grow up? I don't know. Like, holy crap, dude. Let bygones be bygones. He doesn't know how to do that. So anyway, I I do forgive all of these people, including Gary, whatever, you know. I, I Because all of us, are, to a level, have been victimized uh, psychologically by, by, by social media. And, and it's very much created more 
uh, anybody that had mental illness and you were on there, it exacerbated it. And if you didn't have mental illness before you were on there, you probably have some form of mental illness from using it so much. So that was perpetuated on all of us. So we need Jesus. This digital shit, you know where they're going with this. If you're comfortable with having a fucking brain chip, of a fucking uh, thing, a neural link, you can go for that. I don't want no fucking neural link, nothing. Okay, no enhanced humanity for me. I don't want no ports that I could put my computer and I see it in my eyes. I don't want shit like that. Nope. I, I'm going to remain a clay being like God intended me to be a clay being with ink on it because I want tattoos. I want to get tattoos. If you want to fund our tattoo shit, give it to Gavin KitKats on PayPal. Iron, the miry clay and iron will not mix. No. Bad things will happen to you if you get the neural link. Yeah, iron and clay don't mix, period. We, I don't want none of this shit. In, you too, Donnie. That's right. You reject that shit. Just no. It ain't going to work right. And you get kill switches in your body. Why does he even talk about Shanty so often? Because he's really obsessed with her. He has been always. He likes to say that, oh, that's not my deal. Uh, you and her are perfect for one another and all this stuff. And that He didn't mean that. He, he feels like it's some kind of... Um, Conquering? Yeah, a conquest of the white woman, which is real bizarre. But that is, I think, what it is to him. Put your info and he wants to donate. Yeah, that's it, Johnny. I'm, I'm going to do that fast. It's just PayPal, man. We'll do Gavin Kit Kats because... A lot, most people have this thing, you know. Most people do now have a PayPal, but it, this is our PayPal, and <sighs> you guys are cool. You're awesome, you know. I have to. I I I do want to get some ink, man. There's a few things. Oh, I'd love to get some ink. Yeah, I I want. That's the that's the PayPal, guys. If you want to donate to like a tattoo fund. I want our wedding rings. <laughs> yeah, and I want to get. I want to get a Jesus fish on my right hand with a Rev uh, 1221 in it. Awesome. That's why that's they'll know us by the blood of the lamb, the word of our testimony, and we love not our lives unto death. That's three things that that the, the atheists know us by. So once they come and say, look, do you believe in Christ? And I show them my hand and it's a fish with Rev 1221 on it. They're like, yeah, kill him. I'm like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Do you see that? Yeah, I see it. Kill him. Cool. Thank you. That's fine. I'm going home to dad now. Thank you for the favor. We are getting tattoo wedding rings. We are doing that, uh, Deanna. We're doing that. Are y'all give, give plasmas their place? I... I have been there six times, and it's all the way in fucking Taylor, so it's a lot of gas. Three times they've rejected me because of high heart rate. I'm done. I'm done with that. God has big things. I want to talk business. Yeah, I'll do that with you, Donnie. Definitely, man. Yeah. I am eight money, so I'm with you, dude. Money is nice. Money's good to have, and I had it. I never had it. I never, ever had to ask a fucking nobody for nothing. I was giving it to people. I was letting it rain like Joker fucking money. Here, have money. And and uh, it's not evil. <laughs> Money's not evil. It's, 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 it's if you're in the mindset of I need more, 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 me, 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 then it becomes evil. And you start abusing people for money. For it, yeah. Money's not evil. People try and do that all the time and they say prosperity gospel. No. No. If you're worshiping money, that's – you're done. You're going to be in hell, very deep part of hell because people that worship money end up doing horrible things. You can make it again. I know. I, I Yeah, I got you. Donnie, you're really cool, man. I appreciate you a lot and you're kind. The, God does provide, Donnie, like, and you were part of that. Thank you, dude. Yeah. That had, that was so we had money for a few days, man. That's so awesome. Thank you. You're freaking amazing, man. Can Shetty give plat? No, she can't. 
She cannot. She had. She used to. Uh, she tried a few times, and uh, her veins are messed up too, like blown out veins and stuff like that. Uh, my heart rate. I don't know what the fuck the deal is. I I chase smoker and that stuff, but still, I. The guy said to me, I was, I was, there, there was a black guy in there with me. I was talking to him and, and, and I was like, he's like, you do, I, I, he was saying like, oh, dude, you know, you need to smoke a blunt before you come, bro. And I'm like, I don't got my medical card. And I'd like, I do Delta eight. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah me too. He was like, yeah, I do that too. He was from New Jersey or whatever. Nice guy. But, but he said, yeah, man, smoke a blunt before you come in and then uh, calm you down and you're good. I just got got done crazy, uh, or sorry, I just got done grocery shopping for a family of four for three weeks, $530, I can't believe it. <laughs> this, that's getting, that's going to, this is, I'm going to pin that, okay? Isn't that ridiculous? Okay. Tina Scherzer, there you are. Tina Schartzer, yeah, there's your shout out. Yeah, I love I love you too. We love you. We love you. Did that you know, I just hate how things don't work sometimes. There, it's pinned now. Okay, can we talk about that? A family of four three weeks at five hundred and thirty dollars. Are we starting to see the black horse? Uh, 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 a hundred dollars a day, a day's wages for a loaf of bread. That's going to three different stores for deals and it's still great. That's insane, dude. Mm -hmm. We were just talking about it yesterday. We got some money from some people and we got a, a, a pizza, right? From a place. You can get a delivered to you for the sake for ingredients of we're talking okay uh tortillas daisy sour cream uh uh two for five cheap cheese mexican blend cheese and some hormel chili and uh uh lettuce. chopped lettuce that was the whole thing do you know how much that those ingredients came to? And this was not buying fancy shit. Your your bargain shit. It was twenty seven fifty. Now I could have gone to fucking Domino's and got two three pizzas mm -hmm. with thirty dollars. Yeah, I could have got three more. Maybe with the meal deals that they got over here for thirty dollars, I probably could have got a family meal deal. With a two liter Pepsi, cheese sticks, bread sticks, and two pizzas. You mean to tell me to eat a fucking tortilla and some some fucking cheese? <laughs> a couple a kids, burrito. a cup, a burrito. Yeah, you're gonna get a few burritos because you eight burritos. Sure. For $27. Are you fucking kidding me? I'll go to Taco Bell and I'll get a box of tacos for t 15 bucks or something. The box of tacos? Yeah, exactly. Go eat fast food. It's cheaper. Are you fucking... Because I, I was talking to my uncle about this and he's like, I don't know what the hell's going on because people must be making money because they're filling these fucking restaurants. He doesn't say the F word, sorry. But he's, he's like, they're filling the restaurants. Who, who are these people eating in the restaurants? Cause he he's got money he's got, he's like okay, uh, but he don't eat out. He said I I couldn't afford eating out if I was doing that every month. There's no way. So they eat Quins like you know. He he's retired. He should be eating like Red Lobster if he wants every night. Nope. No, he's like I can't. I he cause he's retired. He can't do that. This is crazy. And 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 it's Bidenomics. I don't give a shit what anybody says. Trump was in there, and the dollar was not like this. The dollar was worth something still <laughs> with fucking Trump in there. Biden comes in office. He writes some things on a fucking piece of paper in crayon, and then they go, "Yeah, that's right. He's the president." 
and completely derailed everything Trump had good going for the country in terms of the economy. That's just truth because we got to be good democratic socialists. So we got to, we got to, you know, we got to do this. Both parties are so, the problem. Republican economy is better. Anyway, it, it, they, they, the, the dollar needs to be propped up. And, and if we're going to be sliding in, into, into socialist fucking uh, craziness, you need to start giving people uh, minimum income. Because also the AI is going to take all jobs anyway. There's going to be very few jobs left for people. You need to listen to Elon Musk because he knows what's coming. He's, he's part of the architecture. He's, he built part of the shit that's going to be there. And he's telling you, you need to do this now. Because there's very few jobs that are not going to be done by a fucking robot. So you get used to it. But yeah, give it to Bernie Sanders, whatever. Everything is mess. Where is that? Thank you, honey. Mm. You just rant and rave forever. Hey, Miles, what's up? Yeah, Elon's smart. People hate on his ass, but he is smart. I, I had way more money when Trump ran things. Yeah, exactly. Man, I'm everybody. I actually, I actually pay way less knowing I work for a grocery. Ten percent anything that gro a grocery store owns. Okay. Michigan, it's so expensive here. Really? In Michigan, it's expensive, Tina. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Have they fixed their water problems yet in Michigan? Piece here you go. Shit. McDonald's with their points. You can feed a whole family for under $20. There you go. Why would you not do that? They're encouraging people to eat trash and destroy their own fucking bodies but, but it's, it's cheap it's cheaper so you're gonna that's evil as fuck dude it's evil to do to people oh, damn it sorry seen bernie in michigan and and shook his hand that's awesome tina Dude, I live in one of the most expensive states in the United States. I'm sorry. My wife got her marijuana card, took a month, and uh, and was $200. They could have just made it recreational, but they have to squeeze every penny. That's fucking... I'm sorry. That's what government does. They just rob people. So what, what happens? We're, we legalize marijuana and then we get the worst criminals involved with marijuana, which is the government. I'm going to start sounding like Jesse Ventura, you know? Well, if you really want to talk about the worst sacks of shit on the planet, it would be the government. <laughs> Rob Pester to Rob Paul. Rob Peter to Rob Peter to pay Paul, yeah, exactly. And they write bad checks. They don't got any checks left, Donnie. There's so many checks written that they're in circulation and they can never ever be paid off. That's the fact. And then you got a, a currency which is manipulated by foreign governments because we have a fucking foreign Federal Reserve, which makes no sense. Recreation, I pay six dollars an eighth here. Oh my god. That's awesome. That's the shit. Six bucks an eighth? Where are you? You're in Michigan, right? You're in Michigan? Holy shit. Dude. <clears throat> Nuts. Shit. That's real good. <laughs> We'd be happy, man. <laughs> Holy shit. I would just have a blunt the size bigger than this. Nah, man. I, I want my bond back. Ah, they have real nice ones down there. They're like 80 bucks a pipe. Nothing to smoke it with. Huh? And Delta 8 Bud sucks. A Delta 8 Bud is not where it's at at all. No.
I miss going to the Terrapin Station. I think they had really probably the... I miss going to the farm. Eh, they were so expensive. I loved them, though. They had the best shit. That's why I bought... That's why I bought this is a farm shirt. This right here is the farm. This is a shirt from the farm, man. And then there's a Joya. Yeah, that they're expensive too, though. It's fuck. A Joya is beautiful. They got the Jesus OG. Jesus OG, man. Water bongs kick ass. Dude, Donnie, the best bong is the ones that you can put fucking ice cubes in. Yes. I'm going to get you a chill wallet, a rug, and some sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> a chin wallet? <laughs> a chin wallet? What? I got sunglasses in the car. I got, I, I've i rocked them, man. I got the look now, man. I got, it, I look like a dude from Amsterdam. Like some guy that you would walk in the Stroop Waffle place. They, he's sitting in the corner eating Stroop Waffles all day and smoking weed. It, <laughs> that's what, that's my aesthetic now, completely. You ever get into character anymore? Sometimes, Donnie. What's up, dark, 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 Dankalizer? Dankalizer. That's a great name. Nice. Yeah, you get a wave for the name. That's an awesome name. And your hair looks cool, too. That black red thing is awesome hair. Yeah. The black and red. That's sick looking. I want to do that purple and blue thing. Hello. Purple and blue ombre. Yeah. That's so fucking pretty. It is, man. Ah, uh, there's some colors. Yeah, I don't think I ever seen you before, but your your hair was like really cool, and I'm like, holy shit, what's up? And your name kicks ass. I just got yeah. Sorry, I was reading the pin thing. Uh oh. <laughs> it appears that Rev and Shani are what? Getting more followers. Maybe. God bless. I read something in the news here in Oklahoma where there's an illegal grown distribution set up using fake Amazon trucks. Holy shit. Whoa. Kind of genius. You're right, but that's highly criminal. Holy shit. Impersonating in a corporation? Man. What kind of fucking penalties do you get for that? I don't know, man. House of Bullies, man. Well, God bless you. It's insane. Fucking fake Amazon. That's wild. I do have to say it's kind of brilliant, though. That is kind of smart. Oh, I wish I had some of that fucking CBD honey to put in coffee. Oh, that would make my legs feel better. What's up, Lissy? Uh, how are we doing? How are you feeling, Shani? Meh. She's kind of meh. My legs have been driving me crazy today. The coldness in here has destroyed... Uh, I, I was getting the fishnets every day, and I don't got them every day anymore, and I'm not happy. Makes me sad. So the trolls leaving Rev Shanty alone, otherwise we'll defend them. Sick of haters. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I'm drinking coffee, Donnie. I got, I, I, we got cheap, big thing of, like, bargain brand coffee, not even Folgers. I get an oil... Pen Great for my vape pen. Ain't bad. Nine dollars a gram. We're paying. We're paying sixteen minimum for Delta Eight a gram, or whatever. Yeah, it's a gram. It's a gram cartridge. That's wow. Colds hurt. Cold hurts my limbs. I don't know how you guys handle the weather in Pennsylvania. I. Shani is like yeah. It's it's tough for her. I don't know how she lived in Minnesota. That's insane. Oh. 30 below zero. And she used to live in Duluth, Minnesota. 
it gets down to negative 30. How the fuck did you even live? Ugh. And she was working too. It's like, are you serious? How did you survive that? Yeah, Minnesota. Ugh. You'd be surprised what you can survive. Oh no, Shani, is there anything that would help? Is there anything that, that you could you feel like that could really help you out? Edibles. She'd get a bottle of edibles. That's what, if you're asking Lizzie, that's what it would be. <laughs> a bottle of edibles. Shaddy's so strong for that. Holy shit, girl boss. Yeah, she is. She picked up a fucking Dodge Durango. Shaddy, I don't know how well you know a stankalizer. I'm but... not strong anymore, man. No, but you still, you're amazing. You... I, I feel weak as shit. She lifted a Dodge Durango off of train tracks. I had to. Low testosterone, beta male. Fuck you. You don't know what I. Mm -mm. Mm. No. Mm -mm. Dude, low T. The uh, hours worth of sex doesn't say any indication of low T. You just started following Dake? Well, okay. Well, welcome. It's good to see you, but. <laughs> uh, no, it's there's no low T going on here, man. Oh, no. I don't got low T. I'd tell you if I did. I would, I'd tell you, I don't. <laughs> Not even. No, I don't. I don't have any, she could tell you, man, and she ain't going to lie about it, okay? I, she ain't lying. I, I, I have no problem in that area, the sex area. No, I got, no, no, no. No. Mm -mm. No, he works just fine, and when, he, when he's good, he's good, man. I, mean, I have no complaints. I have done more to her than I've seen done in pornos in terms of making a chick pop. So, hey, honey. I'm just going to tell her. I'm just being honest, man. <laughs> Did you see Sabella's gown last night? Oh, my God. I don't, wouldn't want to. No, we don't watch them. We don't them watch the them. We don't watch those people. I'm telling you. We don't lie to you and say we don't. And do. We don't watch them. I wouldn't want to look at her. Good Lord. She got together with a guy that... Oh, my God. Stole houses from dead people's family members. Yeah, Donnie, popping a water balloon. That's what I... You said pop, LOL. I'd say pop like a water balloon, you know. That's the way it goes. My phone's dying. I'm at work, so gotta go. But I'll try to pop in next live. Bye, Shani and Rev. Have a blessed day. We welcome Dankalizer. Later, Jane. She's cool. I'll follow. I'm gonna. Can I just like hit it and fo yeah, follow. Boom. I can just follow you. I followed you. <laughs> Crazy shit. I just. This is all ended. Just to the haters. There are reaction channels out there that what they do, God bless you. See you later, Dank. You're awesome. Yeah, we don't listen to the haters. Yeah, I got, I'll put the cash app in here too. Thank you. Donnie's awesome. He's like repping for us here, you know? Here's the cash app. Thank you, Donnie, for, for saying that. He's great. We're going to make money together, Donnie. Absolutely, dude. This Rev Rolly idea, you know? Hmm. There's the cash app, guys. Uh, the Rev Rolly thing, I want... That's whoever got that idea. If you can make cigarettes happen and you want to brand them to me with the dude hat and the glasses and that shit, you give me 10% of sales... And do it. Put my face on it. Do whatever the fuck you want, but give me give me my 10% at least. As a priest in the priesthood of Jesus, give me my 10%. That's all I would ask for. You can use my face. You could use any likeness you want to. Rev Rollies, do use it. Just give me my 10% of what you make. That's all. You got a deal. <laughs> you got a deal.
the last thing I say is to the haters is the last thing I say is you were just as badly emotionally manipulated as we've been by you. Let me say that again. You have just been, you've been emotionally manipulated just as bad as you have done to us. Okay. So I'm going to forgive you for that shit and we're going to let it go. Okay. Because that's what Christ would want. But continued hurting. Why? Because you're finding out the stuff that was said was lies, mostly about us. You got to let the lies go because why would you hold people accountable for lies? That doesn't make sense. It doesn't. The job thing I'm working on, Maggie, trust me, every time I go out, I'm asking everywhere I go. Trust me. Uh, we need to forgive one another and let stuff go. Thank you, House of Bullies. Thank you, Sir, Sir Check. <laughs> Sir CZ. Hi, Kim. All right, I'm leaving. There are reaction channels, for example, <laughs> covering things. Look, look, go, go sub right now. Go sub to a guy, Casper site. Go sub to him. You like UFOs, paranormal, freaky deaky <laughs> stuff? Go. Go sub to Casper site. Study him, the reaction channels. Study his shit. And go do what he does because it's actually really productive because it makes you like, okay, let's evaluate. You learn? Let's evaluate this video and see if maybe this is an actual real video. It's cool and entertaining. Why don't try doing that instead of covering two people that aren't doing shit other than talking to people online and you want to slander us and destroy our character for what? Why? Money. What the fuck is your reason? They don't even it's get that much money out of it. Most of the time. Well, they figure since they're giving us money that they could steal them from us and they get the money. God, God bless you. Uh, let me look quick, CZ. They're crazy, man. Damn. And you too. Hey, hey, you too. Donnie, you're the man. You guys kick ass for real. Thank you. We love you guys. You're incredible. You can't you can't stand Nick and Sabella. Well, I know Nick, the, that Nick Bravo guy. Holy shit! Sub to Carrie, she's great. Okay, all right. Why? 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 Why you do that? Did you have fun for the little while you were here to be a little fucking bitch, Maggie? Did you have fun doing that? Why? You're forgiven, but you're not going to be in our life. That's the type of shit you see that you're just gone. Why Why waste your time? You're just going to get banned and then you can never talk to us again. I tried to end this on a nice note, but see, the devil will always try and fucking come right in your eye like that and burn your eye with a fucking cigarette. I forgive haters, man. I'm done with the shit. I'm not doing the hate. It doesn't work. Uh, we're doing all right, Corella. It's nice to see you. I, I I bless everybody within the sound of my voice. I just want Jesus because this world is dog shit. We need Jesus. <laughs>